Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some arena, and we are back at it today, we're gonna play some more Mono Blue Mill. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it on the Saturday video, and uh, I want to bring it into some traditional standard ranks, so best of threes. Uh, my sideboard is not any means complete, again, I'm just crap out of luck with wild cards for the most part, so I don't have much in here. We need so tinies in the sideboard. Um, couple other things but this is just what I have in there right now but you know uh, we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna be playing our deck for what it is for the most part not worry too much about sideboard if uh, we see anything in the sideboard that'll help us we'll put it in but I feel like there's better stuff we could be using and we might not use it that often so let's jump into this thing and uh, do a best of three let's see how this goes Hopefully you guys enjoyed Saturday's video. Um, I am actually recording on Saturday, so we're still seeing how the video does. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll play first. Yeah, it's a good hand. We can pretty much play everything. A um, little bit, little bit slow, but we can opt into whatever we need next turn. Main thing is we got our three lands, which is. Perfect for setting up our counter spells. We want to get set up on counter spells. So let's start the mill plan. Hill passage, all right. It's a little bit awkward on mana right now, so let's. Uh, well, we'll we'll opt first. Just see what else we get here. Uh, don't want that. Uh, I did change around the deck a little bit. I added in more ops, um, rearranged a couple things to do that. Uh, since they're not playing anything, uh, do we want to just dig deeper here? Let's just dig a little deeper. I think op might work better than... Oh, I've well, lost thoughts. Another one? I can't say no to that. It might work better than... Uh, Witching Well. Witching Well's for late game, which I get, and we get to scry to, which is nice, but we don't get the draw card. I want to keep our hand pretty full. Yeah, there's a debate for which one could be better here, but we'll see. Okay. Alright, so how do we want to just hold up Counterspell? Uh... Mm, let's just put down our blocks, get some walls up, we'll hold up Counterspell for next turn. They may put down a decent creature next turn, though, that's for sure. Get to draw an extra card against this deck, which is always nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are they just passing? Yeah. Mm, and they had to discard. Mm, not good for them. Uh, well, I think we're just gonna hold up Counterspell. Run away? Alright. So we could always do that, pull back Secret Keeper back into our hand. Really wanna drown Secrets to get this going. Ah, whatever. Let's just, let's just say no. Used up a lot of mana. So playing with some enchantments, okay. Interesting. Hmm. We can put out Jace. Get a card draw going. We'll make this look easy. This will come again. Thought collapse. Okay, well, we can hold that up next turn. Ah, there's our Drown Secrets. Alright, now we're gonna get cranking here. But do I want to take a turn off for the Thought Collapse? Goodbye, Jace. Uh -huh. It's fine. I was super worried about that. It took up their turn.
We can play the Drown Secrets and hold up Thought Collapse, really start cranking. And pass. Another Drown Secrets, excellent. Excellent? Excellent. Excellente. Duress. Do I really want to say no to this? They'll take my counter spell. Or my other drown. I guess we'll just mill them away. Eh, they were probably baiting a counter spell there, but, uh. Duress, I don't really want them touching my hand. We have some good things going here. We can run away together whenever we feel like and get some replay value on Merfolk Secret Keeper, which would be nice, but we're just going to go like this. And target them. And we'll go like this. And we'll go to game two. Yeah. Where did we leave them at? We were close. Maybe in a gate. I don't know. See, that's what I mean. The sideboard's not going to be super useful. I'm just going to keep it as is. We didn't really see much from their deck other than uh, enchantments and one creature. So. Ground Circuit Secrets and a Vantress Gargoyle and a Jace. We're a little bit flooded, but uh, we'll keep this. Seems like they got decent removal, so our Vantress Gargoyle may only be able to swing in once. But I don't really want to toss this back. Perfect top deck here would be a Secret Keeper just to keep things cranking. Ah, uh, we draw another land. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's a little bit slow. We could have mulliganed, but, uh... Oh, Jace. Keep drawing lands. Not good. We'll be able to block with Vantress for a little bit. Why do we keep drawing lands? This is ridiculous. Ooh. Nice sideboard. Oh, we got another one, so I think we're definitely going to play that out here, yep. World Apprentice, I could have used you last turn. Oh my gosh. Nice. Alright, you're uh, making me skip turns here, I don't appreciate it. Alright, we'll do Overwhelm first. Scry some stuff here. Two unsummons. Uh, what am I looking for? I already got an unsummon. I think I just want both of these bottom. Go here. And we'll pass. See what they give us on a card draw. Choke. Not the best. Outlaws and merriments. Oh, that's not fun. Well, that'll help him a little bit. Uh, do we want to unsummon this guy? He gives us an extra card draw. I guess let's just take our turn here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's too bad we can't put Drown Secrets back. So we'll hold off on playing this. Um, hmm. 
probably do Jace. Let's scry first, and then we'll get our card draw going. Don't want... Uh, I could do better. You've already lost. We can attack him with the Gargoyle, know. which is good. Alright, there's our Secret Keeper, finally. Alright, let's see what they get here. A human Rogue. Damage to a target creature. And we deal it to our Jace. We draw another land. The flooding is real. Fires of Invention. Oh, great. It's this deck. That's not pretty. This is why we need our Callous Dismissals and things like that in this deck, because they can play crap like this. Okay. All our stuff to zero ones. We'll definitely just keep our Jace alive. Oh, do they both have menace? Oh, there we go. It's like, why are they? Oops. Are they doing this? Uh, well, what do we want to do here? Double block the Crusader or let our guy go to one? This will just let our guy go to one. I don't need to do this. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. This is, these are terrible blocks right now. Ah, this one, I will remember. Hmm. <laughs> what do we got in here? Just uh, three cards? Okay. Well, let's go. We want to run this. Let's start with a card draw. You'll probably die next turn. Oh, drown secrets. All right, let's crank that out. Start getting this going. Uh, we'll do the usual. And we'll do one more sucks. Secret Keeper. Get another block going. Boom. And we'll attack in. And see what happens. Trample haste, okay. Ah, uh, it's too bad we can't quite kill them next turn, unfortunately. Uh, we're gonna start slowing them down. We're gonna start unsummoning these, these tokens. Oh no! Oh well. We didn't have any way to stop that, really. We could have used another use of Unsummon is just protection for our Vantress Gargoyle, but I felt like putting down our blockers would be more helpful here. It is what it is. So now that our Vantress is gone, we can put down a Shoke and really get things cranking. Uh, how do we run this? At my face? Oh, well, that's not cool. Oh, no. Actually, we will put Secret Keeper there. And we'll just do that. I got a lot of mana though, so it could potentially be a way to kill us here, I don't know. I'll plan better next time. Oh, we killed my Jace, okay. <laughs> Guess it's into the story first. See what we draw. So I think we'll just do Wall of Lost Slots and hold up an Unsummon, or actually You know, two out of summons and a run away together. Yeah, why don't we like do that? I can I can appreciate that. 
We'll mill them for a lot on their turn too, and then we'll replay our walls. See what happens. There's a reason for popping this back to their hand right now too, just so we don't get uh, hits, which maybe we'll actually do that. Maybe we'll unsummon this guy now. Yeah, sure. We'll unsummon now. We'll stave off that extra bit of damage. Sixteen cards. Is it worth running away together this thing? Probably. It's a one drop. Let's do this, and we'll take out this guy. It's gonna be a tight game. We're gonna get pretty low here. Gotta block one. Hope for the best. We're in range of uh, some burn here. We'll see. Okay. Well, I think we got him then. But flank, it's a little too late for that. Let's play out all our one drops, and I think we'll be good to go. Well, thank you. Milling yourself for one. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he scried. Oh, I thought he put it to his graveyard. Alright, so let's just start off with our little dinks. Another two. Yeah, whatever. Well, we'll do that, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. Put this one out. Mill, mill. There are five. All right, so now we can just say done. And we'll put out Dream Render and finish them off. GG. Dream Render, the ultimate finisher. I like it. All right, fires an invention. Uh, still have not lost against them. Like I said before in the Saturday video, like it's a pretty scary deck, but I've yet to lose against them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, our first video of uh, Mono Blue Mill in some standard ranked. Uh, if you did like the video and want to see more, leave a like and comment below that you want to see some more of the mill. And uh, yeah, um, yeah, we'll probably just do more of this and it should be pretty fun. But uh, yeah, stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the next video.